Hello, everyone. I'm Charles Vaillancourt, a SARA team lead for OVH Cloud Public Cloud Service, and I'll be your host in today's session. OVH Cloud is a global cloud provider offering a wide range of solutions that combine high performance, a transparent and predictable pricing model, while ensuring full control and confidentiality of your data. Today, we will go over the OpenStack client command line tool installation, setting up the configuration file, and finally, installing our first virtual machine with the OpenStack client. The first thing we need to do is install the OpenStack client. There are a few ways to do this, but today we will use pip3, the Python 3 package manager. If you don't have Python 3 or Python 3 pip installed, please install those following your operating system's instructions. This is outside the scope today. Let's jump to a terminal to see how this goes. First, we will instantiate Python 3 pip to install the OpenStack client. So Python 3, tech pip, we will install this in our user location, and we'll use Python OpenStack client package. Pip install user uh, binaries in .local bin inside your home directory. So let's validate that it's here. Let's make sure that it works. .local bin OpenStack tech tech version. And we can see that we've successfully installed version 5.5.0. Now it can get quite annoying to use full path all the time. So let's add this to our path environment variable so that we can use it directly. For this, we will export to our current path. We'll add the new home directory, .home, .local, bin. And then we'll post fix the current path so that we don't lose anything. We can make sure this works by just running OpenStack tech tech version. And as we can see, we get the same result, OpenStack 5.5.0. We've now successfully installed our OpenStack client. It won't be very helpful, however, until we give it a configuration file. In this presentation, we'll use the new clouds.yaml configuration format. The default user path for this configuration file is .config, OpenStack, and a file called clouds.yaml. Let's create that directory and create an empty clouds.yaml file there. mkdir type p.config slash openstack. And now we can touch a file there called clouds.yaml. .config openstack clouds.yaml. You can now open this file in a text editor. I'll use vim for today's demo, but any text editor will do the trick. vim.config openstack clouds.yaml. The first thing we need in this file is a cloud section. This will always be there as it's the root of the configuration format. On the following line, we can enter an arbitrary name that we will call our cloud in the configuration file. In this case, I'll call mine demo cloud. Next, we need to give it a profile, in this case, OVH. This will preload some defaults for OVH cloud. And next, we have the authentication section. This will contain the username, the password, and the project ID we want to authenticate to. The, the project ID we can get from the manager. The username we can also get from the manager in the users and roles section. And the password, if you, if you don't have it saved already, you can regenerate from the manager if needed. And then we'll save this file. This is the most basic configuration you can have. You can tweak this configuration many different ways, but we'll only cover the vanilla configuration today. After saving this file, we can confirm it works by simply testing if we're able to request a token from Keystone. The command for this is OpenStack. We need to give it the cloud name with OS Cloud. Our cloud was called Demo Cloud. And we use the command token issue. As we can see, we're able to request a token from Keystone and we can validate everything is working. Now it can get quite annoying to always add tech tech OS cloud and tech tech OS region name to every command, but we can use environment variables for this. OS cloud is replaced with OS underscore cloud in all caps, and we can export a new value to it that the command line client will read. In this case, again, demo cloud. And finally, we can also use the same thing for the region. The environment variable for that is OS, underscore region, underscore name, in all caps. Today, as we've discussed in our scenario, we'll be using BHS5. 
Now we can run the same command without having those parameters set. We can just run OpenStack token issue. Much better. But even this gets quite annoying. So to top things off, you can even create a script, a function, or an Elias to make things even simpler. Here's a simple bash Elias example. We'll create a new Elias called demo BHS5. And we'll pass in the commands that we need to export to use these cloud regions. So the same commands we've used previously. Export OS underscore cloud equals demo cloud. Semicolon export os underscore region underscore name equals bhs5. Now, even if we unset our previous aliases, unset os cloud, unset os region name, we can simply run the alias to load those variables back into the environment. Perfect. Now that we've established the core concepts and configured our OpenStack client, let's go over what is needed to create one simple virtual machine. Here's the scenario. I want to create on our project in region BHS5, a virtual machine of flavor B27 using the image Ubuntu 20.04, and it needs to have a public interface, and I want to connect to it with a given SSH key. In this scenario, Nova will handle the flavor, the type of the VM, the SSH key management, and the actual virtual machine creation. Glance, the imaging service, will provide us with the image, Ubuntu 20.04. Neutron will provide us with the public network interface. And let's not forget Keystone, that will generate a token for us to authenticate during these operations. In this simple case, we are using public images and a public network. So we already know what those resources are named. We can directly pass those arguments to Nova. No need to talk to Neutron or Glance. Nova will handle this behind the scene for us. The SSH key, however, will need to be created. Here are the arguments we have so far. We know the project, we know the region, we know the flavor, we also have the image name and the network name. But we're still missing the key, so let's create that first. Let's jump to the terminal to see how this goes. First, we need to make sure we load the proper cloud and region with our allies, demo BHS5. Next, we need to create our SSH key pair. Unless you already have an SSH key pair, you want to use already. The command for this is ssh keygen. In this case, we'll use a 4096 byte key. We'll use the type rsa for our key. And we'll give it a file path of demo key in this case. This will create a key pair. You can enter a password if you wish, or skip this if you don't. We can confirm that the key has been created. ls demo key star. We can see that we have a private and public key here. Now we need to upload the public key to Nova so it can be deployed on our VM on creation. The command for this is openstack key pair create. We need to give it a public key argument and give it the path to the key. In this case, locally in our demo key dot public key. And we need to give it a friendly name. In this case, I'll call it demo key. We can confirm that Nova has properly created the key with openstack key pair list. As we can see, our public key is now there. Next, just for sake of sanity, let's confirm that our flavor, image, and network do actually exist. For this, we can use the, the command openstack flavor show to show our flavor, b27. As you can see from this output, this shows that our, that our flavor exists, that it has seven gigs of RAM, two virtual cores, and 50 gigabytes of disk. We can also validate that the image is there. OpenStack image show Ubuntu 20.04. And again, we've confirmed that our image exists. Lastly, we can also check if the network is there. OpenStack network show ext net. That's the name of our public network here at OVH Cloud. As we can see, everything is here. If you'd like to know more about our images and flavors that are available, the OpenStack client can also help you for this. You can use commands such as OpenStack flavor list to navigate our flavor catalog. And you can also run commands such as OpenStack image list to see all our public images that we provide. Now we have everything we need to craft the command to create our first server. Let's go ahead and look at what this command would look like. The command is called OpenStack 
server create, and we need to give it all the arguments that we've prepared. The image will be Ubuntu's 20.04. The flavor will be B27. The network will be ext.net. The key name is the key that we've created earlier, demo key. And the last argument we usually need is the name of the virtual machine. In this case, let's just call this my first VM. We can also add a tac tac wait argument so that OpenStack client wait till the command is completely done and the server is ready to use before giving us back the prompt. Let's add this argument. Now the command line will hang there for a minute or two, the time the virtual machine is being created. As we can see from the output, our virtual machine has now been created and we have a, a public IP we can use to connect to it. Let's test if all this is working. So we're gonna use SSH. We're gonna use the public key pair we've been using. So tag I dot slash demo key to give it a private key. On an Ubuntu image, the user to connect is Ubuntu. And finally, we give in the IP that we get from the output above. Hit enter, and you should log into your virtual machine. And that's it, easy and simple. That's how you create your first virtual machine through the OpenStack client. Thank you, and see you next time. Mm -hmm.